Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org back with another video for the new Boston. Now in this video we're going to be looking at different string functions inside PHP, um, how you use them and why they might be useful. So we're going to go through a few string functions in this video, uh, in this video, the parts of this video, and um, we're just going to use an example string along the way. So let's go ahead and create our example string. So I'm going to create a new variable called string and this is going to be equal to a particular string. So for example, I'm going to say this is um, an example string. So we're going to be doing a few things with this particular string um, along the uh, length of the videos that we're going to create. And uh, we're going to be creating new variables which use these functions and uh, apply these functions to this particular string. So first of all, let's go ahead and look at string word count. Now you can imagine why this may be useful in particular situations. You might want, want to count a certain amount of words, maybe through user input um, or through database use, etc., etc. But um, I'm sure you can find a use in your own web, web application. But for now, this is how you use it. Now I'm going to create a new variable called string word count. And this is going to be equal to the function name, which is string, oh sorry, str word count. Now this uh, function takes three arguments um, in total. Only one of them is required, and the one that is required is, is the actual string itself. So I'm just referencing this variable here, which is equal to um, this string here. So let's go ha down here and echo this out, and then we'll talk about... Um, the uh, different arguments we can give this function to perhaps make it more useful to us. Okay, so let's go ahead to our browser and refresh the page and see what we have. Okay, so we get a value of five returned when we echo out the um, the result of this function. So you can see that we've got one, two, three, four, five words. The full stop doesn't count. That's not included in our list of words. Um, we can specify things um, that we want to class as words, maybe symbols later on. But for now, this is how many words are in the string. Now let's go ahead and look at an argument we can give this. So we can give this um, the this, this second argument as zero, one, or two. So I'll go through each one and explain which one, um, which is which. So zero is what we've already seen. This just returns um, an integer value, uh, as we've already seen, with the amount of words uh, in there, with no other argument specified. 1 will um, produce an array where the key um, is equal to the word itself. So, you know, we well, the key is irrelevant in this. It will just be the default. So it will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then each uh, value of each key will um, contain the uh, word in the string. So what we're actually doing is we're creating an array and we're almost splitting this up. So let's go ahead and try and echo this out and you'll see that we'll just get a value here of array. This is because um, it's now stored as an array after we've given this argument. So what we can do just for uh, just to be quick is we can use this print r here and enclose the uh, word count in this and this will uh, display all the elements of an array. Oh, spelled that wrong. Okay, so print r Let's go back, refresh, and now what you can see is we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and these, all these keys that we've been returned equal the uh, words, that we've, words that we have. So we're not using an associative array here, we're using just a normal array, and we've got this is an example string without the full stop like I mentioned earlier. So that's how we're going to put our results into an array. Now if we use a string with the argument 2, this is going to return an associative array. Now as you can see here, we've got each key is uh, as normal, so we start at zero and we're ending at four. What this will now do is it will, uh, the key will equal the position, um, so the key will now become an, uh, an associative value. It will have the position of where each word starts, uh, and then the value of each key will be the, the word itself. So let's go ahead and refresh this. Now you can see zero, that's a position, uh, or this, the word this is at position zero. Is is at position five, and is at position eight. Example is at position eleven, and string is at position nineteen inside of our string here. So they're the three or the three different arguments you can give in this, or the three different values rather you can give in this argument. Um, there is a last. Let's just change this back to. Yeah, we'll change it to. We'll leave that at one. The uh, third argument that we can give 
is a list of words that we want to include as words. So by default, a full stop will not be included as a word. So because this is part of string here, what we could do is come in here and specify a full stop, for example, inside our um, single quotation marks. So we're specifying the full stop is part of a word. So now what's going to happen is let's say we um, return, uh, yeah, we'll return one and we refresh. You can see that we've, um, we're have we still uh, giving back um, an associative array, even though, well, let's put that at zero, for example. Um, and we'll just echo out this. Uh, what you can see that's happened is we've still got five words, but if we then go back and sorry, print r. If we then go back and change this value up here to one or two, so we're producing either our array or our associative array, you can see that instead of just string, we've got string with the full stop on the end there. So now let's go ahead and separate this full stop from the um, from the word string and refresh, and you can see it's given us five different or six different words. 